Well, hugs! Look at this, guys. It's hugs, and he has our fan mail for the day. Oh, thank you, buddy. I love everything you do. It's so cool to see you, buddy. I'm gonna go open the awesome mail now. How cool was that? Well, it is fan mail Friday again, guys, and we have a whole bunch of stuff. Look at this. First of all, look at this giant stack of letters you guys have sent. And then we have this box right here. And then we have this spooky box right here. How cool is that? We're gonna be taking a look at each and every one of these things individually. And I just wanna say though, for future reference, when you guys are sending stuff in, I absolutely love each and every single thing that you ever send me. But in order to be fair to everybody, if you send several things, after today's video, I'm gonna just choose one of those things to open. I will open the rest off camera, but I will only open one on camera. Like I said, I absolutely love everything that you guys send me, but just for example, I have five letters here from one single person right here. So today I'm gonna open them all. However, like I said, in the future, if I get two, three, four, five, or more letters from the same person. I'm just gonna choose one to open on camera, and the rest I will open on my own off camera. It just makes the videos that much longer if I open all of them, and everybody wants to see their fan mail get opened in the video. So, with that said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this. I am so excited today. It's been a couple of weeks since we did a fan mail Friday. Let me grab a drink of my refreshing water here. And then let's go ahead and just dig into all this stuff. Where do I even start with all this stuff today, guys? You know what, we usually start with like a letter and then we move up to the bigger things. But today, let's go ahead and start with, how about this one right here? This one comes from Patrick in Sutherland, Oregon. Oregon is one of my favorite states ever. So let's go ahead and get this one open here. I love all the trees and the oceans and the mountains and everything in Oregon. So totally awesome. Plus, it's where they filmed two of my absolute favorite movies, The Goonies and Stand By Me. Man, do I love those movies. Okay. Wowza. We got some cool stuff in here. Oh my gosh. Let me just give you a little peek right there. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start with the letter here, it's a card that Nate guy on YouTube, how very cool. Oh my gosh, all right, first take a look at the card right here. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster is saying, I have over 500 followers. Unfortunately, they all have torches and pitchforks. If you guys have seen the movie Frankenstein, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, happy Halloween. Because every day is Halloween. Treats and trick in this box. You just have to find what will be the trick. Uh-oh. Happy Halloween from your number one follower, Fat Pat. Oh my gosh. Okay. And there's the inside. We got Dracula right there, as well as on the front with Frankenstein. Very cool. We got a couple of stickers that fell out here. We got... The In-N-Out sticker, that's very cool. In-N-Out burger, oh my gosh, I could go for an In-N-Out burger right now. Have I ever had In-N-Out burger? Man, I've been to all 50 states and I don't think I've ever had an In-N-Out burger. Okay, and then we have another sticker here, Double Double Cheeseburger, Hamburger, French Fries, Shakes. Another sticker I'm assuming is from In-N-Out. Very, very cool. It's like the whole menu on here. Coke, root beer, Dr. Pepper, 7-Up, lemonade, iced tea, milk, hot cocoa, coffee. All right, let's dig into the box here, guys. Wow, the first thing that's sticking out here is definitely a treat. Look at this. We have two In-N-Out burger hats, employee hats. And yes, I'm going to put one on right now. How cool is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is that how you wear it? In and out burger, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh, very, very cool. All right, the regular hat back on. Next thing we have is connect with us. In and out burger, classics catalog. Oh, how cool is that? So this is like a catalog where you can order in and out shirts and socks and hats and keychains and all kinds of awesome in and out burger stuff. Very, very cool. All right, let's see, next up, check this out. 
Zagnut, double Zagnuts. Oh my gosh, I love Zagnuts. I have not had a Zagnut in so long. And if you've never had a Zagnut, I'm gonna read you the description right here. Crunchy peanut butter with toasted coconut. So absolutely delicious. Is it a Zagnut that's covered in chocolate? There's one of them that's like covered in chocolate and then there's another one that's the exact same thing, but it's not covered in chocolate. What the heck is this? Kind of heavy. Wait a minute, we got, <laughs> we got a thank you card that says, you rock. No, you rock, and you know that. What movie is that from? Okay, and then we got this guy right here, which we're about to unfold and see. Whoa, oh my gosh. All right, hold on, it's coming. Okay, so both of these, <laughs> wait a minute here. There's like, everything keeps falling out. There's more and more stuff. First of all, in and out Burger stickers right here. Look at this, and it's like a little coloring thing on the back, that's hilarious. And then we have two things here. Each one of them has a little note on it that says, am I the trick or the treat? Um, okay, so first of all, we have Stephen King, The Shining Book. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? It's the actual book, so I don't see how it could actually be a trick, The Shining, Stephen King. Red rum, red rum. And then we have Beetlejuice, the complete series. This better not be a trick. This better be legit and real. Oh my gosh, look at this. Holy crap, guys, look at this. Beetlejuice DVDs, the complete series. Seasons one, two, three, four, and four, part two. Oh my gosh, okay. So what the heck would be a trick about any of this stuff? I mean, this stuff is way too cool for any of it to be a trick. Unless like all these DVDs are just scratched up and I can't use them, that would be heartbreaking. They're beautiful. <laughs> so I don't know, you got me. If there's a trick in here, I don't know, because to me, all this stuff is a treat. Beetlejuice DVDs, Stephen King, The Shining Book, Am I a treat or a trick? Am I a trick or a treat? What in the world? I don't even get it. Because nothing in here comes across to me as a trick. It's all awesome. Thank you so very much, Fat Pat. I'm, I did miss something. Oh my gosh, I figured it out. You little trickster, you. This is so wrong and heartbreaking. <laughs> okay, so this is the trick. Stephen King, The Shining. I can't even read it because it's in... What the heck is that in? Is that German? I think that's in German. What in the world, man? And I took three years of German in school in Dutch, and I know no German. I'm going to read just the first line here. In diesem Gemach befand das I don't know. <laughs> what a trickster. I can't believe this. All right, I found the trick. I thought I was lost, but I found the trick. There's a big hunk of ice in my water, too. That's a trick. Okay, next up, guys, let's do the other box. And that is this guy right here. Look at this. Look at all these awesome drawings on here. Is there something? Yes, there's more on the top. How cool is that? All right, so we have a bat and a cat, a secret-keeping cat, a secret-keeping bat. We have Mr. Jack-o'-lantern and Mr. Ghosty. We have a skeleton, and who's that guy? Is that like Slender Man? Somebody's scary. And then we have the random flying eyeball. Return of the Living Dead eyeball. <laughs> and then we have a witch's hat. Very cool, I love all the pictures. This comes from Brody in Saskatoon, Canada. Oh my gosh, guys. You guys are so much fun, man. Best fans ever. All right, look at this, we got green inside. That's a good spooky Halloween color. Reminds me of a witch right there. All right, looks like we have a, a note. Oh my gosh, look, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Not only do we have the secret keeping cat on there, we have a picture of the secret keeping cat. Look at that. Best ever, and look, I'm even wearing my be Beware of the Secret Keeping Cat t-shirt. And here he is, the Secret Keeping Cat. <laughs> that is just so hilarious right there. Look at the fangs. <laughs> that guy's definitely keeping secrets. 
Okay, what's next here? We got another paper here. I'm gonna make sure I read the letters first before I dig into anything. Um, we got some pictures, we got a letter. Oh my gosh, all right, let's look. <laughs> let's look at the pictures here first. First we have Punchy, AKA half a head saying bad words. I got Punchy somewhere around here. He must be in his box. Oh yeah, he's in his box over there. Um, okay, and then we have, <laughs> He read the map wrong with his one eye. <laughs> and then we have the hello rat. And oh yes, we have children of the corn. Malachi, he wants you too. <laughs> I love children of the corn. Okay, we got an awesome letter here and it says, hello Nate guy, it's me Brody again. I'm the one who sent you the heckles plush in February. I showed you guys that little heckles plush last, uh, well, in the last fan mail video. In fact, do you still have the Heckles plush? Yes. Let me know. Once again, there is something made by me in here. I am excited for Spirit Halloween 2024 with the Carn Evil. My favorite props this year are Cotton Candy Dan, Giant Death Ray, and Rick Ratman. I have Cotton Candy Dan and Rick Ratman, but I did not buy the Giant Death Ray. I hope they have them in stores because I want to see them in person. My favorite prop of all time is the Harvester of Souls. Hope to see you soon. My YouTube channel is youtube.com slash, in fact, I'm just going to put it right down here, guys. There's a lot to run through here. So make sure you check this out. Go to that channel and give them a like and a subscribe. And it says, also, I'm 11 years old now. My birthday is April 17th. Very cool, happy belated birthday. I love all this stuff. All right, let's see what the last thing is here. Oh, I think it's the last thing. Yeah, okay, so we have a bundle of joy here. A bundle of Hallow's Eve joy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you that in just a second. It's so cool. It's the other thing that he made. But first, let me show you this. This will make a nice snack here at the scare house today. Lay's ketchup chips. Oh my gosh, I've never tasted these, but I've heard about them. Made in Canada. Okay, and next we have another thing here. Oh, sweet. Candy rolls, rockets. These are, these are like uh, Smarties. Here they're called Smarties, but in Canada, apparently they're called rockets. And then we got one more. Whoa, how weird is this? I just said that those are called Smarties. In Canada, these are called Smarties. These are made by Nestle. Are they chocolate? Candy coated milk chocolate. So they're kind of like M&Ms, but they're called Smarties. In America, these are Smarties. In Canada, these are Smarties. How weird is that? Okay, thank you so much for the awesome treats. And let me show you this unbelievable little plush that we just got. Oh my gosh, coolest thing ever. Now hold on, here we go, almost ready. <laughs> oh my gosh, unbelievable. Ready, one, two, three. What are those? Look at this, it's Johnny Punk, holy crap. A little mini Johnny Punk plush. That is amazing right there. My very own little, what are those? <laughs> That is so unbelievable. Oh my gosh. And look at this, it's baling twine and it even has little hooks on the end, like little loops where you can hang him up. And he just swings saying, what took you so long? <laughs> oh, Johnny, you little trickster, you. Oh my gosh, that is seriously so cool. Thank you so very much. Unbelievably cool. <laughs> We're gonna set Johnny right back here between scabs and carrot, the best friends forever. Brody, thank you so very much for this awesome package here. We got snacks for the scare house, some awesome pictures, and a little Johnny Punk back there, how cool. Okay guys, so now that we've been through the boxes, we got this enormous stack of mail to go through here. Oh my gosh, you guys just outdo yourselves. And I haven't even been back to the post office for about four days. So there's probably more stuff there, which is gonna have to be in next week's Fan Mail Friday. 
I'm going to try to keep up with these a little bit better and keep them coming because I know when you guys send stuff in, you want to see me open them, but I've just got so much stuff I'm doing that it's easy to fall behind. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one right here. This one is from Anthony in Medford, New York. There's your letter, and you can see it kind of got smashed in the mail there, um, but luckily it didn't get ripped open, so it appears that everything that was supposed to be in here is still here. There is a small hole, but it appears that everything is still in here. So it looks like we have a little letter first, and it says, Hi, Nate. I'm a fan here. I met you at Flagship. Here is the picture, and here's our little note here, and oh, okay, I see. We have a picture that's folded up. Oh my gosh, very cool. <laughs> Look at this. There's the picture of me and Anthony and his shirt that I signed and I drew a little ghost on it. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. Aw, oh, thank you for sending me that picture. People take so many pictures and I only get to see some of them. So I really don't get to see them unless you guys like send them to me here or post them on the internet. Very cool. I love that. And then we have a couple of little pictures here. Very cool, check that out. <laughs> and we have a little awesome bracelet here. How cool is that? I'm gonna shorten up this part here so I can put that on right now. And there we go, we got the bracelet on, we got the awesome drawn picture, the little ladder, and the picture of us at flagship. Very, very cool. Thank you so very much, Anthony. That was awesome. All right, let's move on to the next one, guys. This one is from Harrison in Chatham, Illinois. We got a picture. I'm going to wait to open that. I want to do the, uh, the letter first here. Okay, here we go. It says, Hi, Nate. I'm Harrison A. from Central Illinois. My channel is Harrison Halloween at Happy Halloween 11. I'll put it right there. You guys can check it out. What do you think of Spirit Halloween's 2024 lineup? Honestly, I think it's pretty awesome. I love everything that they brought back. I think I love everything that's brand new. I can't think of anything that I don't like. There are a few that I've bought, like Cotton Candy Dan and Shirley Stab, and then there are a handful that I can't wait to see in person. Oh my gosh, there's just so many good things this year. When I saw the Ghostface animatronic for the first time, I instantly went to your channel because I knew you would be excited. I am excited about that Ghostface animatronic. I think it's very cool. I can't wait to see it in person because the build looks kind of strange. It really should look more like, like a real body underneath. However, I'm really excited that they actually used real dialogue and quotes from the movie. So that's very, very cool. Which is your favorite animatronic this year? My top three are Bobby Strings, Barnaby the Bear, and Wanda Webworth. Oh my gosh, it's really difficult to say yet what is the favorite because, I mean, I love all three of those as well. I'm kind of thinking that Bobby Strings might be my favorite, but I've not even seen a video of him yet, so I really don't know. But that one I, I'm really excited about. I'm excited about seeing Barnaby. I'm excited about seeing Wanda. I'm excited to see them all. I also like Cotton Candy Dan and Victor and Emily and the Ringmaster. He looks like Shaq. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to come out Duncan. I like all of the main attractions. You should visit the Springfield, Illinois location this year. I've been watching you since 2019 when you started visiting Spirit Locations. Say hi to Marion for me. I will do that. Thank you so much, Harrison. There should also be art that I made too. And that is the picture right here. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? I love when you guys send me pictures. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the main attractions. We got Bobby Strings right on the top there. We got Barnaby the Bear, <laughs> the Ringmaster, Nibbles, is that his name, Nibbles? Yeah. And Cotton Candy Dan. Oh my gosh, what a great picture that is. I love all the colors in this picture. Very, very cool. Thank you so very much. I love this. All right, guys, let's move on to our next one here. And this comes from Brandon in, I don't know if it's Chelmsford, Massachusetts or Chelmsford. I don't know how you pronounce it because I'm a nerd. 
But there's the letter right there. Wow, there's, I think this is pictures and there's probably a letter in here. Oh my gosh, this is a whole stack of stuff here. Yep, lots of awesome pictures. Okay, so let me go ahead and read the little letter here first. Hi Nate, I am insanely excited for Flagship. I've been trying to go for three years and I finally do get to go. I have been watching your videos since 2020. I am such a fan. I'm 14 years old and I still love your videos today. I did want to tell you my uncle and I are competing together to see who has a better hunt. Ooh. Mine is going to be called Nightmare Acres. All right. I have a picture sent of the sign I made. I'm going to be putting spider web stretching across the roof and all my animatronics throughout the yard. I will send you a picture when I beat him. He will, <laughs> he will be crying. I also sent a picture of his hunt, at least of it last year. I have more passion, more creative than he is, so I think I will win. What do you think? I think you will win. And then he's going to be crying. The family will be voting. I'm thinking of getting Nightcrawler and Michael Myers this season. I went to 17 stores last season. I'm aiming for 20 this year. My uncle also works for MGM Studios. All right. Tell him I want to be in a movie. I thought that would be something cool that you would like to know. He made Rocky and the Adams Family. That is very cool, man. I'm also going to Punta Cana this summer ween. I will see you at Flagship. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be at Flagship this year. I have other things that are happening, like my air conditioning went out at the house, so we just had to have that replaced. And we have a whole bunch of things that are coming up that we don't know what the dates are, so I just can't be there this year. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry to disappoint you, Brandon. I have saved over $700 for Spirit this season, and I'm going for more. So very cool. I have a gift for you at Flagship. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. And I'm excited to be giving it to you there. Hold on to it and either send it to me in fan mail or hold on to it and maybe you'll see me next year there or like I said, at another store or something. Oh, I hate disappointing you guys. I also have a YouTube channel called Haunted Hunts or at Haunted Hunts. Please subscribe and tell your viewers to subscribe as well. And I also wanted to ask if you had any tips for me. I'm starting out and I started about a year ago. Thank you, Nate. It's been wonderful getting to see you on YouTube and getting to see the flagship. I'm so excited. I'll see you there. This is so wrong. Well, Brandon, once again, I am so sorry that I'm not going to be able to see you at flagship. I wish I could. My son, that other Nate guy, will be there, though. You can see him at least, so we'll have that connection. But I do have some tips for you from YouTube, and this goes for anybody who wants to start a YouTube channel. First of all is be creative about your name. Now you have a creative name, Haunted Hunts. That is very cool. That's a good name. You have to have a name that people are going to remember. And the other best advice that I can give is to be creative. Be unique. Don't just run around and do what everybody else is doing. Be unique with what you're doing. And that is difficult, but in order to stand out from the rest, you have to be unique. All right, Brandon, thank you so much for the awesome letter. Let me take a look at your pictures here. Here is... Your uncle's hunt. <laughs> Look at that. I see a skeleton up there. And then we have the illuminated bags, it looks like, in the background there. I love those. Here's another picture from the uncle's hunt. And it looks like the animatronics are on the roof, if I'm seeing that correctly. Here's another picture from the uncle's hunt. And then here is the sign. Oh, I love this. Nightmare acre that is very cool i love that i hope you're going to be making videos as you build all this stuff and set up your hunt very cool thank you so much brandon all right next up guys we have one from luca in troy new york oh my gosh i think this might be luca that i just actually ran into while i was in new york i had to go to a funeral in new york so out of the blue, I had to drop everything and run to New York. And as soon as we got there, we drove like, man, I don't know, 10 hours or something. I was so exhausted. And when we got there, it's Luca. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna say, I wore these clothes that were just like the most comfortable thing I could wear to drive in, and they were grubby looking. And when we got there, we ran into this fish restaurant to get something to eat. And in came Luca. He saw me walking in the door as they were driving by and he insisted to his mom that she pull over because he saw Nate and she's like, no, you didn't. And they pulled over and they went in and there I was. And here is the picture to prove it. Look at that, very cool. Hi, Luca, that was a very cool day. And that shirt right there is so funny to me because the letters on that shirt, I don't even remember what they said because the letters are all like shredding and falling apart. <laughs> so yeah, how funny is that? What a great picture, that was a great day. Thank you for running in there and seeing me, Luca. We got a letter here and then we got some pictures. Dear Nate, hi, my name is Luca. I'm one of your biggest fans. A couple weeks ago, I ran into you in a small town in East Greenbush in upstate New York. I still can't believe I spotted you walking into the restaurant. You made my summer. Thank you so much. Now let's talk about spirit business. I'm so excited for the carnival. The ringmaster sounds super cool. My favorite animatronics are the Butcher, Mr. Dark, and Buzzsaw. I know that yours is Hugs the Clown. <laughs> Poor George. And your least favorite is Johnny Punk. So this is the funny thing. Like, Johnny Punk is not necessarily my least favorite. I actually have a very soft spot for Johnny Punk because it started out that he was like the cheesiest animatronic you've ever seen. But then once I started making fun of him and kind of having like arguments back and forth with him and making fun of his shoes, then he kind of became part of the family. Thank you for being so great. I hope to see you at Flagship if my parents let me go. I'm so sorry I'm not going, Luca, but it was awesome to meet you and get the picture. P.S. What are those? <laughs> and then we have the pictures. We got the Butcher here. And then we have Buzzsaw, Mr. Dark. <laughs> Look how tall he is. Spirit Halloween the movie. <laughs> and it says, such a good movie. Nate watching the movie. Oh my gosh, very cool. Luca, thank you so very much. That was awesome running into you in the store there. And that fish was very delicious. All right, let's keep on moving, guys. We are chucking right along through this stuff. The next one here comes from Lincoln in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. I don't think that's how you say it, but I thought it was funny when I was there. That's why I called it Oconomowoc. Oh my gosh, we got so many awesome pictures here. Okay, here we go. Dear That Nate Guy, I've been watching since forever. Me and my brother, Lewis, we love your videos, especially Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Our favorite Saturday Night Snack and a Movie is the one Five Nights at Freddy's and Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Me and my mom have YouTube channels. Please go sub to Lincoln Pirate TV, Angie in real time. I think that's what it says. I'll try to find those and put them right down here, guys. You guys can check them out. Thank you for reading this, Lincoln. P.S. Here's some drawings I drew. <laughs> so we got these guys down here. And right over here, we have the secret cutie cat saying, Shh, I have a secret. <laughs> And then on the back, we have a ton more drawings. Look how cool all of those are. Oh my gosh. Okay, and Lincoln says, how to say Akanamawak. And it says, ow ka na ma Akanamawak. I don't know, Akanamawak. <laughs> Thank you, automatic doors. What are those? Oh my gosh, so hilarious. What great pictures there. Thank you so very much. All right, let's move on to the next one. And this one comes from Stryker in Somerset, Ohio. All right, here we go. We got a letter and we got some pictures. Hi, Nate, how are you doing? By the way, there is a second part of this on the back that I do not want to tell YouTube. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I might be getting the creepy towering clown. Here is some pictures. And here are the pictures here. We got one eye. <laughs> And that hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, very cool. All right, I'm gonna keep the other side to myself and let's move on to the next one. This one's from Kyle in Troopsburg, New York. All right, we got a letter and we got pictures. 
Dear Nate, Bobby Strings and Cotton Candy Dan are good Halloween decorations. I really like Cotton Candy Dan. His one eye! Bobby Strings reminds me of Pinocchio. Yes, me too! I had my birthday on June 29th. I turned 28 years old. Happy birthday, Kyle. Very cool. Love, Kyle. And then we got some awesome pictures here from Kyle. Check this out. We got Bobby Strings and Cotton Candy Dan. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you so very much, Kyle. I can't wait to see Bobby Strings in action. All right, next up we have one from Guy in Blackwood, New Jersey. All right, we have a letter and some picture here. Dear Nate, my name is Guy. I am six years old. I have been your fan for three years. Awesome, this is my third time writing you. I love your videos and watch them all the time. I drew you Cotton Candy Dan. He's my favorite this year and I hope we get to buy him. He is huge too, he really is big. Halloween is my favorite holiday and we can't wait until Spirit opens this year. We will see you again at the flagship store. I'm so sorry I'm not gonna be there, but remember guys, I built my own flagship store and that video will be going up Friday, July 26th. It is awesome. From Guy, I also have Creepy Towering Clown and Shirley Stab. Halloween is the best, yes! And then here is the awesome picture of Cotton Candy Dan. How cool is that? <laughs> yum, yum, yum! <laughs> Very cool, thank you, guy. All right, next up, guys, we have one from Mason in Henderson, Nevada. I believe I filmed a spirit in Henderson last year, if I'm not mistaken. I know I filmed in Las Vegas and and somewhere else, and I think it was Henderson. Oh my gosh, we got some cool stuff here, guys. We're gonna check this out in just a second. We got a letter to read first. Oh my gosh, very, very cool. I love all these letters from you guys, so cool. Dear Nate, this is my second letter. It's Mason again. Which Spirit Halloween animatronic are you most excited to see in person? I would have to say Bobby Strings. I'm going to get Art and Ghostface. Very cool. I'm really excited to see both of them too. Grown up, I will be a horror movie director. Yeah, very cool. When I'm famous, here's my autograph. Yeah, that's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Mason's autograph for when he's famous. And Mason, whenever you become a horror movie director, hire me as an actor in one of your movies. We will make it awesome. All right, and then we have some pictures here. We got Barnaby the Bear. We have hugs. And, <laughs> and there's me down at the bottom. <laughs> oh, and there's Mason up at the top. They're right there. <laughs> Very cool. Wait a minute. Something else is in here. How did I miss this? What the heck? It's a penny. There was a penny in here. <laughs> Thank you for that penny, sir. I'm going to put that right there. We have some more pictures here. We have nozzles. Yes, hot nozzles. We have Gizmo. Nate riding the terror dog. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's the best. Ghostface asking Nate, what's your favorite scary movie? The Burrito Baby. Nate, please show your crouchy plush. I have one too. Oh, I don't have it here at the scare house. It's back at my house in my office or else I would show it. I'm so sorry. But I can show you Crouchy's head. <laughs> that is a seriously big head too. All right, so. We got some of these things to show you right here. We got Trick or Treat. That's a very cool movie, very spooky. We got Scream. That's very cool. I love Scream. Yes, Halloween from 1978. Look at this, we got Hocus Pocus, one of the best ever. That's actually the DVD cover, what the heck? Got any cash, Hollywood? And then, oh my gosh, another classic right here. Young Frankenstein. <laughs> very cool. Thank you so very much. All right, guys, we got one more little stack here. We got one, two, three, four more. No, five more to open right here. And I'm going to tell everybody right now, just so you know, um, 
These are all from the same person. These are all from JR in Spokane, Washington. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, from now on, if you send several letters all at once, I'm only gonna choose one to open. I'm gonna open all these right here in this video, but it takes so much time to open these, uh, these letters, and I want everybody to have a fair shot at seeing theirs. So, um, so yeah, just write like one letter at a time. I love it just as much, and it gives everybody a fair chance at seeing their letters. So, all right, JR in Spokane, Washington. Let's start with the first one here, and it's a card. Exclamation points. What are those? Hey Nate, here is a card for no reason, just for fun. Enjoy. <laughs> it's awesome. Next up is another from JR in Spokane, Washington. All right, we got a couple of things in here. Let's see. Hey Nate, in last week's video, I know you said you won't call or text. That's okay, I have Snapchat. Don't say my account, please. Okay, it looks like this one here is something that I should probably keep to myself. Um, so I'm not gonna read that one on, on the um, video here. Although I will show you these. I've got little rewards here. <laughs> Two letters next week. Next week, three pieces of mail. Oh my gosh. Remember, JR, I'm only gonna open one on the video from now on, so I appreciate everything you're sending. But save your stamps. All right, we got another one here from JR. These are very creative, I'll tell you that. Hey Nate, here is a drawing, writing. What are those? <laughs> we got another one here from JR, and then we got the big one from JR. Okay, wow, this one is packed with stuff, including a stick of gum. <laughs> okay, this says, choose which animatronic I buy. Only lift one flap. All right, let's do this flap here, ready? Ghost face, it says. All right. Add to your ghost face collection. And we have the ghost face aged um, thingy madinger that goes on top of the mask. I have that aged mask somewhere. Hey, Nate, please sub to my channel, Ghost Face 1996. Okay, and then we have one more here, guys. And this also is from JR. And this is a bigger envelope here, so let's go ahead and get this one open. <laughs> we have Keychain. Hello, Nate. I was wondering if you can try to go with Spirit Halloween in Spokane, Washington this year. I will try if I'm up that way. Put on hand for video. There you go, dude. It's on my hand for the video. You are awesome. I hope to see you soon in Spokane, Washington. And then Spirit Halloween logo. All right. Thank you so very much, JR. And I got the other part of your letter here too. I'm not gonna tell anybody your address. Wow. Guys, this was a huge fan mail Friday. And how cool was that, that Hugs was the one to deliver our mail today. Thank you so much for each and everything that every one of you sent in, guys. This was so much fun opening up all this fan mail. All the tricks, all the treats, all the letters, and all the pictures, very cool. Thank you so much.